Underfloor heating can be installed in many different ways. There's a system for every scenario. But you can boil it down to three or four main types of installation. Screed systems are the most common and would typically be used in new build properties. This is where the underfloor heating is embedded in the floor screed, which you are generally laying in this type of project anyway. Because of its weight, this would usually be a ground floor solution. One of the traditional myths about underfloor heating is that you can't have underfloor heating upstairs. But this simply isn't true. Thanks to the range of systems available, you absolutely can. The underfloor heating pipe work is fitted between the joists of the floor with metal plates transferring the heat to the floor deck above. You can also install underfloor heating on top of an existing floor. And this brings us on to the third main type of installation, low profile systems for renovations. There are now a number of specially designed underfloor heating systems that sit over the top of either an existing solid floor or a structural deck over joists with minimal height buildup. These can be as low as 15 millimetres. Finally, it's also worth mentioning electric underfloor heating, which is an option for certain situations. This is different to warm water underfloor heating as you have a cable running beneath the floor that heats up when powered by electricity. The big downside to electric is that it's much more expensive to run than a warm water system. So it's only really suitable for a small single area like a bathroom or a small kitchen, for example.